tayo ng masaral Sa mas walang maiiwan At sayang magtaral tayo ng mas tuto Upang ikaw yung asenso Maging matyaga, maging matalino Halina mataral na tayo Isang matsaya at matgandang araw sa lahat ng ating mga grade 4 learners at home learning partners. Nagbabalik po tayo dito sa Project SOAR, Quarter 4, Week 6, Advanced Lessons. Halina at patuloy na mag-aral mga bata. Para sumahan tayo ngayon, our lecturer earns his degree at Eastern Samar State University as Bachelor of Elementary Education. He is currently taking up master's degree in educational management in the National Teachers College. He is also a teacher one in Pedro P. Cruz Elementary School, a grade 6 math teacher, division math clade module writer and layout validator, math coordinator and MTOP trainer for grade 6. Batang Manduno, halina at matuto sa grade 4 math lesson kasama si Mr. Ram G. Billiones. To our very active OIC Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Ramela M. Cruz. To our OIC Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Aurelia G. Alfonso. To our CID Chief, Dr. Aline G. Mendoza. And to our SGOB Chief, Mrs. Emma G. Rubio, a pleasant morning to you all. Also, I would like to extend my greetings to our EPS in Mathematics, Mr. Restituto Arnolas, to our Blessed Mother of Pedro P. Cruz Elementary School, our school principal, Dr. Imelda O. Garcia, to my master teachers, to my peers and friends, to all Mandunong learners, a pleasant morning to one and all. To my awesome students, welcome to Project SOAR, series of online academic reviews in mathematics for elementary level. I am Teacher Ram, and I will be your guide for today's review. Our learning objectives are Interpret data presented in different kinds of bar graphs Vertical or horizontal, single or double bar graphs And Solves routine and non-routine problems using data presented in a single or double bar graph. And here are our review questions. Number one, what is the title of the graph? Very well. Number two, what information is on the x-axis? Correct. Number 3, information is on the y-axis. Very good. Number 4, what grades has the least number of members? Correct. Number 5, how many members are there in grade 1? Very good. Number 6, how many members are there in grade 4? Very well said. Number 7. How many members are there in grade 5? Correct. Number 8. How many members are there in grade 6? Very good. And number 9. What is the total number of members in all grades? Very well said. Now I know that you have already understood our lesson last meeting. Today, we will be interpreting data presented in a double bar graph and we will know the different kinds of double bar graph which is the horizontal and the vertical bar graph. What is double bar graphs? Double bar graphs helps us to compare and present more than one kind of information instead of one 
juicy bars. There are two types of double bar graphs, that is horizontal bar graphs and vertical bar graphs. A double bar graph includes two axes, labels, titles, and scales. Now let us look onto this example. The graph below is an example of a double horizontal bar graph. The title of our double horizontal bar graph is Social Media Platform Usage. The data presented on the horizontal axis are the number of people using the social media platforms, while the data on the vertical axis are those social media platforms used by the boys and the girls. Based on the given data presented on the double horizontal bar graph, let us look and answer these questions. Number one, what is the title of the double horizontal bar graph? That's correct. Number two, what information is placed along the horizontal axis? Correct. Number three, what information is placed along the vertical axis? Very good. Number four, what social media platform is the most number of usage? Correct. Number five, how many people use Facebook? Very well. And number six, how many more girls than boys use Instagram? Very good. The graph below is an example of a double vertical bar graph. The double vertical bar graph's title is Favorite Sports of Boys and Girls. The data on the horizontal axis is the sports liked by most of the boys and the girls. The data on the vertical axis is the number of pupils who like the sports on the horizontal axis. Now let us look on these questions. Now let us try to answer based on the given data presented on the double vertical bar graph. Number 1. What is the title of the double vertical bar graph? Correct. Number 2. What information is placed along the horizontal axis? Very well. Number 3. What information is placed along the vertical axis? Correct. Number 4. What two sports would be most equally liked by both boys and girls? Very good. Number 5. How many pupils like badminton? Very well. Number 6. How many girls than boys like volleyball? Very good. Now, in order for us to accurately interpret the double horizontal and vertical bar graphs, we must first consider to look on its parts. Second is, we must find the horizontal and the vertical axis. Third is, we must look on its labels and scales. And lastly, we must find its legend. Look at this other example. The title of the example is Favorite Video Conferencing Application Used by Teachers. Now, I want you to use the data presented in the graph to solve the problem. Here are our questions. Number 1. What video conferencing application has the most number of usage? Correct. Number 2. How many people used Zoom? Very good. Number 3. How many more female teachers than male teachers prefer Google Meet? Correct. Number 4. How many teachers like Zoom? Correct. Number 5. How many more female teachers than male teachers prefer Zoom? Very well. Test whether we understand our lesson for today. Here is another example. The title of our double horizontal bar graph is favorite subject. The data on the vertical axis is the subjects being chosen by the boys and the girls. The data on the horizontal axis is the number of boys and girls who likes the subjects being shown in the vertical axis. Now I want you to read and interpret carefully the graph. Let's go! 
Okay, so here are our questions. Number one, what is the title of the double horizontal bar graph? Correct. Number two, what information is in the horizontal axis? Very good. Number three, what information is in the vertical axis? Correct. Number four, which subject would be most equally liked by both boys and girls? That's correct. Number five, how many more girls than boys like science? Very well said. And number six, how many more boys than girls like Filipino? Very good. Now I know that you already understand our lesson for today. Now, we have another application all about double vertical bar graph. Now the title of our graph is Marcos Rating. Now I want you to study and analyze the graph and get to answer the following questions on the next slide. Now here are the questions. Listen attentively. Number one, based on the performance during the second quarter, in which subject did he perform well? Very good. Number two, by how many points did Marcos grade in Filipino increase from first quarter to second quarter? That's correct. Number three, what is Marcos' average grade in first quarter? Very well. Number four, what is Marcos' average grade in second quarter? Correct. Number five, what grading period did Marco perform better? Very good. Now let's evaluate ourselves. Directions. Read and analyze the data below and answer the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer in your answer sheet. The title of our double vertical bar graph is Parents and Guardians Guidance Office Visit Records. The data on the horizontal axis are the months of the year and the data on the vertical axis is the number of parents or guardians. I want you to analyze and understand the graph and answer the following questions on the next slide. Are you ready?
Benjamin Franklin once said, Tell me and I forget, teach me and I may remember, involve me and I will learn. So we may have fun and productive learning in mathematics. This ends our lesson, so thank you very much for listening. Well, that ends our lesson for today. Thank you for tuning in on Project Source series of online academic reviews in mathematics in elementary level, week 6 for grade 4. I am Teacher Ram, and that ends our lesson for today. God bless us all. See ya!